Greetings all you new work from homers. Welcome to my world. This is Sherry Oswald, also known as Shortcut Sherry, and I've been inspired to do a series of videos to help you get started working from home. As you know, this is a very different time and it's time for us to start working remotely. For some of you, you may have had this opportunity before. For some of you, this is brand new. I've been working from home for almost 20 years and it's very frustrating sometimes trying to balance your life and your work when it's in the same space. The first thing I want to help you do is help you get your computer set up correctly. If you're using your own computer and signing into your work content, you may be potentially causing yourself some problems, especially if you happen to share that computer with those in your family. To keep your work separate, one of the things I'd like to show you how to do is to create a completely separate profile on your computer where you can isolate your work content. So let's start with that. I'm going to go to the start menu in the lower left hand corner and type in account. In the menu, you should see add, edit, or remove other users. As you can see, I have several accounts here because I'm a contractor and I have multiple clients. This is the trick that I use to make sure that I keep everything completely separate regardless of who I'm working for. First, in the other section, you're going to choose Add Someone Else to this PC. It's going to ask you to add a Microsoft account. Now, there's a point of confusion here because your Microsoft account is not necessarily your work account and I found that out the hard way. So this is kind of how I do this. I say, I don't have this person's sign in information, which I actually do, but I'm gonna create a local user profile and later we're going to log in and add our work credentials. So I don't have this person's sign in information. Then we have an option here to either add an account or create an account, but let's use the option that says add a user without a Microsoft account. And then give it a name. I'm just gonna use a fictitious name here. And then add a password. Now this password will be used when they log into the computer. It's separate than the password that you would use to log into your work account. And there's probably a good reason to keep that separate. Don't use the same for both. And then add your information here. So we're gonna add some security questions. Then click next. So you've added a local user account. In order to make sure that you can install software and make changes to the computer, you want to elevate that to an administrator. So I'll select the account change the account type, and then change it from a standard user to an administrator, and then click OK. You'll see that there's a new user that has been added to this computer. In your real world, you would log out and log back in using the username and password that you just set up. I'm not going to do that here because I want to continue recording. But after you've logged out and logged back in, you're gonna to go to the same place. So again, that is under the Start menu. Type in Account, and then select the Add, Edit, or Remove Other Users account. Again, back in the same place. This time you're going to Access Work or School. If you have Office 365, this is where you would add the account that you would use for Office 365. I have a demo environment that I'm using here for Karen Berg, and this is her email address. So I've previously added that work account. To add an account, you click Connect, and then you would add your email address here, and then now you would use the password that you would use at work. Just follow the wizard to create and sign into that account. When you're done, you should now have the ability to use single sign-in on this computer under this user profile. This keeps you from having to log in and log out, log in and log out on every browser that you touch. Very frustrating. Next, I'm going to show you how to get started if you're logging in remotely. Thanks for watching. This is Shortcut Cherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.